everybody, this is Dave Newfeld for the Best Buy Canada blog, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Sonos Port, which is an audio streaming solution. And uh, if you're wondering exactly what that means, well, let's uh, take a closer look. So um, this is the Sonos Port right here. You can just see it's a fairly small, sleek, uh, little black box. And what I also have here is uh, my home stereo receiver. Uh, incorporated obviously here into my home theater so this is where I do a lot of my uh, gaming and movies and that sort of thing because uh, this is where I have uh, obviously my receiver and all my best uh, you know speakers and surround sound set up um, and so I have a fairly nice receiver I've had it for quite a few years and I really like it you know it has a lot of great features it gives me 7.1 surround sound and lots of uh, inputs and all the sort of all the stuff I need for my uh, home theater setup but the one thing that it doesn't have is a uh, smart capability and what I mean by that is it's it's a little older than than the newer line of of stereo receivers and other sorts of products that we would consider smart products it doesn't have uh, internet connection or any way of kind of connecting to my Wi-Fi it predates all, all that kind of stuff honestly not by very long but uh, but it is just just a bit too old to, to be able to uh, to connect to my Wi-Fi or or connect to any sort of devices that I might want to stream an audio signal through. Um, and I think a lot of people might be in a similar situation where we've got these really you know we've got a nice stereo receiver um, that doesn't necessarily need to be replaced right now. But uh, today, the more and more of us are. are using and relying on a lot of streaming services and technologies that, that are maybe uh, an older stereo receiver like this isn't quite set up to deal with. So that is where the Sonos port, uh, in one, one of its features, one of the ways it comes in, is the, the Sonos port will connect to your old stereo receiver and actually allow you to stream uh, audio streaming services uh, through your home theater setup that might not otherwise be able to do so. So uh, how it works is it's actually really easy to set up. It's it's super incredible, super in incredibly uh, easy to get up and running. Basically, you can see on the back here. Um, so I've got my power cable, and then I just have a set of uh, um, RCA analog, uh, you know, component audio cables that came with the uh, the Sonos port. Um, there's the option as well for a, for a digital out, but I've just used here these two. Uh, um, RCA ports and you can see they just plug into the out there and then I've just plugged those into my stereo receiver uh, of course there was a lot of a lot of empty ports back there for me to choose from I, I hooked it up to CD I guess because I figured that was the closest to what I was actually using it for but that's pretty much it um, with just that one quick connection now it's it's set up to my uh, stereo receiver um, and then so all you really need to do beyond that to start streaming streaming audio and podcasts and audiobooks and music to your home theater is to connect to the uh, Sonos port via the Sonos app. So I've just got, you can see an iPad here set up really quickly and I've already got the um, Sonos app installed. Um, it is also compatible with Apple AirPlay too, so if you're more familiar with the Apple AirPlay environment, you can use that as well, but uh, the more broad solution for anyone that isn't specifically locked into Apple AirPlay is to just use the proprietary uh, Sonos app. So you can see I've got it, I'll bring it up here, and within the Sonos app, Sonos app I can uh, access all of my streaming services it's really easy to get them set up I'll, I'll go into that a little bit more in a minute but I'll just uh, show you first um, so if I go to browse here you can see I've already got a few of my services set up so maybe I want to um, listen to some music on Spotify uh, right away you can see via the Sono, Sonos app I've, I've got a window right into my Spotify library that shows me all of my you know, saved music and playlists and what I recently listened to and that sort of thing. So I'm just going to pick a song and... There we go. So I'm streaming Spotify from via the Sonos app and the Sonos uh, port 
to my otherwise uh, non-streaming stereo receiver. So that's pretty cool. Um, maybe I want to flip, maybe I don't need to listen to music anymore, but I want to... Um... Maybe I want to check out my audiobook. He's so I'm just going to flip over to Libby and, and here we go. Went so far as to open the letter. I'm listening to, read, to an audiobook now. By the right so. Honourable Lord Keith, Knight of the Bath, Very easy to of the Blue switch Wind, back and forth really quickly. His Majesty's ships and vessels employed and to be employed in the Mediterranean, etc. Um, so anyway, um, it's it is really easy to sync your apps all together through the through into the the Sonos app um, with Spotify in particular. Uh, it was super quick. I was able just to um, choose Spotify from the list of programs that the app already recognizes, and because it was already I was already logged into Spotify on my phone at the time, I pretty much just had to one click tell tell the tell Spotify that yes, I was approving the, the Sonos app to have access and boom, it was in my, my list of, of available apps. And pretty much the same with uh, the other app I was using here, Libby, is uh, it's actually a, a library uh, app where you can, you can sync up with your local library and download free audiobooks, borrow free audiobooks and that sort of thing. So that one was pretty easy too. It was also recognized by the app, so I just had to go into Libby and, and uh, copy a quick uh, authorization code and then go back to the Sonos app and put it in and boom, then I had had that app as well in my in my list of, of all the apps that are managed. Um, and you know, there's a few more features of the app as well that are pretty handy. If I go to the main page, I can just it sh see all the recent things that I was uh, listening to and that sort of thing. Um, now the while this feature is really handy, it's obviously not the only way that you can use the Sonos port. Um, in particular, if you have Sonos wireless speakers to pair it with, then it becomes basically a smart hub for your entire home. So you don't only need, uh, it, it isn't just for, you know, older devices like the stereo receiver that can't restre receive streaming. If you have uh, Sonos brand wireless speakers, then you can put them all over your home and you can use the same app to uh, manage, much in the same way that Apple AirPlay does. You can use um, the app to, to uh, control music from one spot all over your house. If you have speakers, you know, in your uh, living room and in your den and all that sort of thing, you can set up all the different rooms in your home through the app and then using just the Sonos app and the Sonos port, you can stream all of your wireless, uh, all of your wireless apps and audio throughout as many rooms in the house as, as you have wireless speakers and you're set up for. But that, that works just in conjunction specifically with the Sonos brand uh, wireless speakers. So it's, uh, I don't believe, it's not that you could uh, set that up with, with uh, any, any wireless speakers for, to, to take full advantage um, you would need to sync the the Sonos port to Sonos brand wireless speakers in your home. Um, and then just one more feature that you can use as well, it's kind of handy, is you'll notice when I pointed out the audio out in the back of the port, there is also a line in. And um, that can be really handy uh, on the flip side, whereas in this case I mentioned my receiver was too old uh, to, to have uh, streaming functionality. Uh, conversely, so you might have uh, an actual audio source that is too old to have uh, streaming functionality. Like, for example, a, good, a great example is an old turntable, a record player. You know, obviously, um, if you have a vintage one or even a lot of newer ones, they they aren't set up to be compatible with uh, streaming technology. But maybe you want to be able to use your record player and and. Uh, uh, be able to listen to it anywhere in your home that you have, you know, wireless speakers or that sort of thing set up. So you can also put plug in through the line in, you know, your record player, CD player, anything you want into the port. And then again, use via the app, use the Sonos port as a hub for uh, controlling that music and that streaming source or that uh, analog source and uh, pretty much uh, control it and listen to it anywhere in your home. So. Anyway, that is the Sonos port in a nutshell. It's a pretty handy little device. It's pretty sleek, and like I said, uh, it has a lot of great uses uh, 
especially in situations uh, today where, where we're trying to take more advantage, obviously, of our favorite streaming services for music and audiobooks and podcasts and that sort of thing. So it can, it can enable some of your older devices to be compatible with streaming, whether it's um, enabling them to receive a streaming signal or uh, taking a source like a record player and allowing it to stream wirelessly over your uh, Sonos wireless speakers in your home. Uh, anyway, so that's all I have for you today, but make sure you stay locked on the Best Buy Canada blog for all the latest in audio streaming technology. Till next time. Uh -huh.